So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing extremely well. This is your very own mask code at this side. And today we will be solving our another POTD that is word break. So let us see what does the problem say. And before discussing the problem, let me introduce you the Hall of Famers. They solved the, uh, yesterday's question correctly. Web of Khandelwal 5934, the ID of the user, and the Shivan Shukla 3596. So big hats off to you guys. Your answers were correct. And I think I've commented to all of, replied to all of you. Okay, so let's move on today to today's problem. So today's problem says that you have been given a string A. A is a string here. Okay, and you have been given a vector of strings B. Something like a dictionary, okay? A vector of strings. And A is a string, right? Today's problem is given to be medium type, but I think it is an easy type if you get the concept clearly. And what is that concept? So suppose my A is uh, geeks for geeks. And my B is, my B contains the letters. It contains geeks as one of the, one of the strings. It contains FO as one of the strings. It contains R geeks as one of the strings and it contains RG as one of the strings and it contains let's say O R geek as one of the string and O R geek and S as one of the string. Okay. So let's say our B A is this and our B is this. We have to find out if there is a possible way to split A such that each of the split like if I split it here geeks for like it is geeks for geeks right if every word if geeks is present in this if four is present in this if geeks is present in this then return true otherwise return false okay if you have to find is there a possible partition we can make in a such that every split has been uh, covered in b okay so what can we do so if you see here geeks if i split it here geeks is present right now four is not present right and neither is the whole word okay so this splitting is wrong what can i do is i can do geeks okay then f4 is present correct then r geeks is present correct so it will work it will be done true we have to find only one such finding it may be possible that there are multiple partitions that can be a possible answer but we have to find only it is true or false that is it is present or not we don't care about how many number of uh, partitions are there Okay, so what is the algorithm we will use? The algorithm we will be using is similar to what we will do is we will stand here, we will stand at this spot. Okay, we will cover each substring. We will cover, uh, cover G, then we will cover G E, then G E E, then G E E K, then G E E K S. Okay, and for each one we will find if it it is present in B. If it is, like what we will do is we will start from index 0 okay after that we will make let us name it as index end okay substring from end to i and what is i here i is equals to n plus 1 to n minus 1 that is the total length left after index third if substring is present is present in map is present in the b is present in b then check for remaining part that is what we were doing right we found geeks so we were finding for four geeks correct check for remaining string okay and then if that string if that check if that check returns true return true okay now the optimization if you can see if it it is starting from our index equals to zero okay now we will be substring from index i correct so it will be taking o of n time to traverse and o of n time to find everywhere because uh, b is a vector so finding anything a string here which is not sorted etc 
we have to use the whole traverse also linear time but to avoid that what i can do is i will convert it into an map so that my finding time is reduced okay so this was all the algorithm and let us see the code because it is really easy to uh, show you on the code what is happening in the back of the computer code okay so let me zoom it here yeah so as i discussed first we will create map from the given uh, b so string of int b now for int i going from 0 up till b dot size you can use iterator also here and mp mp of bi plus plus okay this will give me a map of all the strings present in b now if let me name the function as solve if my solve of a b map and where i'm starting from i'm starting from index equals to zero if it is returning true then i will return true and if it is returning false i will return false this is my main driver code let me move to the solving code so my solve will return a bool value or you can do an int value also nothing matters so it will take my string a it will take and let me remove this b because we have already considered mp right so unordered map of string and send it by reference and my index right from where i have to see if it is present now if my index has already surpassed a length that means i found all the matchings right i found all the matching so this is my base case in that case return true right otherwise go for the recursion subcase what is the recursion subcase i will have to traverse from index i equals to end i will go up till a of length i plus plus right my string from index end to i will be string s equals to s sorry a dot sub str starting from index end and going up till i that will be the length of i minus n plus one you can check okay now if this is only possible when mp contains s so if mp dot find s is not equals to mp dot n that is mb o's string is present in the map or in that case string is present in b then only proceed now if solving for a with map and what is my index now because i found the uh, substring from index to i i will have to start get started checking from i plus one so it will be i plus one right if solve of i plus one is returning true then return true okay else at last if no one returns true return false this is my code for today's POT. let's try to compile on it and in the meantime please subscribe to my channel because it gives me a lot of motivation and let's try to submit it now so please like the video if you are understanding what the question is what i'm doing here so you can see our current streak is 67 days and that's all from my side for today we'll meet tomorrow till then keep coding and stay safe have a nice day